All right. I guess it's time to to begin the journey, supposedly. Yo, Mirsa, thanks for the resub. Uh, yeah. For whatever reason, the, the notifications are all screwy, I guess. Yeah, so that'll, that'll be messy for now. Where's the chat box? It's here, right? Oh, okay, the, the message didn't go through. Yeah, chat box is there. Okay, just making sure. Yeah, because everything's a little bit wonky right now. Um, so, so for everyone here, uh, I've seen this game on YouTube and I wanted to play it. Uh, in interestingly enough, I used to watch I'm sure most of you know PewDiePie a bunch when I was in like middle school, high school type deal. Maybe maybe just high school actually. Um, and I continue to watch him, but you know on and off. And at some point I watched Markiplier, and I have not seen him on my YouTube feed in forever. But like maybe four or so weeks ago, I have no clue. Whenever he uploaded um, a video on this game. I uh, I saw it and I watched part one and I was like, oh, this is so good. And I watched up till part, I think three or four. Um, and it looked like a whole ton of fun. And I decided that I wanted to play through it um, and hopefully do it before I, you know, watch more stuff. So I've kind of stopped watching whatever's been out for a little bit um, in hopes to potentially get this uh for christmas as a gift because i don't have a lot of spending money right now uh but a few minutes ago <laughs> my girlfriend got it for me so <clears throat> i am not gonna play so i already know this but the new game button is this guy and you can't do anything with it and there's reasons for that so you have to continue and that's how we begin our journey so i kind of know the base game mechanics um I know a little bit about the cards and stuff. Uh, I don't remember any of the solutions to any of the, like, the little things, but... The art is really pretty, though. Um, another challenger. It has been ages. Perhaps you have forgotten how this game is played. Allow me to remind you. Play the squirrel card. So the squirrels... Oh, use... Oh. Mouse wheel. Okay. Yeah, I don't know the controls, of course. Um, the squirrels are sacrificial cards. So... You can play them for free. But you can also use W and S. Okay. Interesting. Kind of like the mouse wheel more. Play the stoat. Yeah, stoats cost one blood. Sacrifices must be made. We sacrifice our lovely little squirrel friend here. Is he shaking? Uh, they actually shake in terror before you sacrifice them. That's horrifying. I didn't notice that before. Yeah, so you sacrifice. Uh, wolves require two sacrifices. You don't have enough. Ring the bell to end your turn and commence combat. Oh, I should check the, uh... Did I title the stream wrong? Oh! Hi, Sacred. Dude, I'm sorry. I'm out of it. Is the audio okay, by the way, guys? 
Uh, not right now, obviously. I don't have it up, but... Does it sound okay? Okay. Your stoat stands on a post. The number on the bottom left is its attack power. One. So we do one damage. Your stoat dealt one uh, dealt me one damage. I added it to the scale. You win if you tip my side all the way down. Like this. My turn. Your stoat stands in the way of my coyote. My coyote dealt two damage to your stoat. Oh, okay, good. I'm I'm glad I'm glad you're kidding. <laughs> that means your stoat's health is too less. Yeah, I'm using the stream manager on Twitch to uh, to watch the chat instead of uh, OBS because this way I can see uh, the activity as well as like you know like cheers and stuff. Um, I don't think OBS shows them directly to me. And since things are, are still a little bit screwy. I figured it'd be important. I see my bitrate has already started to uh, not be the best. Fantastic. That means your stoat's health is too less. If a creature's health reaches zero, it dies. It's your turn again. You may draw from your deck, or you may draw a squirrel. I'm gonna draw a squirrel. How dull. You were lacking sacrifices for that wolf. Oh, Whoops. Not anymore. <laughs> hey yo. Um oh yeah, we gotta ring the bell. Cause you're learning. I will pass. Again, the choice. A random card from your deck or the certainty of a squirrel. The river snapper. Kind of cute. Three damage dealt. Three weights on the scale. Pass. He dies. You've won this match. They won't all be so easy. Let me recall your story. Oh, yes. Yeah. So this is kind of the 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 format for the game, I guess. I don't know. We were lost deep in the the forest. A single path revealed itself. So we have to pick our path. Of course, we only have one option for now. But uh, ye, two denizens of the forest approached you tentatively. Uh, caustic adder damage from its poison bite is always lethal so this card uh, which game? hand of fate I don't, I'm not familiar with it the undying cat sacrificing the poor beast does not kill it this guy just wins whenever he attacks guaranteed but the cat can be infinitely sacrificed we have to take the cat just because that's what I like. So these symbols mean things. And honestly, I haven't paid enough attention when I watched uh, Markiplier play this to know. Uh, but um, I'm assuming this is getting something. This is probably a card. I think that's what we just stepped on. But I can't tell because we're on top of it, obviously. And the skulls are fights, I believe. You came across an abandoned sack. You found a squirrel in a bottle. Break in case of emergency. It's actually really good. And have a second. Oh, sweet. Another useful implement. It'll allow you to tip the scales with it. Three is as much as you can carry. Oh, nice. Yo, Marissa, thanks for the bits. Appreciate it. It does look like Chiwo. You're ambushed while crossing some rough terrain. By stumps? You sacrificed me while I was sleeping. It was the right play. I get it. Maybe. You'll help me? Take your turn. 
play along for now. Uh, I mean, I've seen my moves ahead of... Oh! Yeah, so he is going to play Wolf Cub here. Wolf Cub is a little turning majigger. You can right click to look at what they do. Uh, we'll grow into a more powerful form after one turn on the board. So because our boulder's here, it's guaranteed to uh, to do that. I also don't think you can use... Yeah, you can't sacrifice the boulder, so... Uh... No, we don't need items. Items are for losers. So we put out the cat. The cat is safe here and can be infinitely sacrificed. So you sacrifice the cat and put down the stoat. And then uh, we end our turn. Mind the ambitious wolf cub. It ages swiftly. So uh, we're going to take a, a squirrel here. I did not mean to take a squirrel here. But hey, it's whatever. I've goofed. Oh well. We'll put the snapper here. I wanted to put it here after the wolf cub cubbed, you know? But, uh, preemptive. We'll tip the scales in our favor, though. The airborne bat flies over creatures to attack directly. So yeah, this guy will just hit us. Ha! <laughs> My bat flew right over your river snapper. So, um... Next turn, wolf hits boulder. Boulder dies. We need sacrifice and card to play. So we'll take the card now. We got a wolf. Uh, but we can't play it because we won't play it here. So we're going to chill. Wolf will now kill Boulder. We take Squirrel, place Squirrel, sacrifice Cat and Squirrel to play Wolf. Ring Bell, kill Wolf. I guess he passed, because... Oh, I gotta pick my card first, huh? I'm good, though. I'm good. You prevailed and trekked onwards past the now bloodied trail. Yeah, so, um... Cards. The young wolf cub grows into a wolf after a single turn. So, wolf cub essentially is one blood cost less and sucks, but becomes a wolf if he lives. And the sparrow is a flying card. I really like the concept of flying cards. So I'm gonna pick the Sparrow. Yeah, so see up here, we get, to, we get to pick. So this is the thingy thing that makes this game really interesting, I believe. You stumbled into some strange stones in the mist. You were compelled to choose a worthy sacrifice, one that will be lost forever. So we pick a sacrifice. Which, I believe, is a card with a special effect. And then we transfer that special effect onto something else. So we can make, like, an, uh, like forever sacrifice squirrel or something. But that's essentially just a cat. You just don't have to sacrifice, I think. Um, we could also make anything flying. Which sounds really powerful, depending on the card. Um, and I like the cat anyways. So... <laughs> Make the cat flying. I think wolf flying would be really good, but the wolf can just destroy things anyways. Hmm. Wolf is good for killing cards. River Snapper is essentially a tank. Maybe I put on River Snapper, so River Snapper can both tank and deal direct damage. Maybe that's the play. Yeah, I know he did, but I didn't want to put it on him. A ghastly spectacle, but the soul of the sparrow now lives in the river snapper. 
You sto the stoats? The stoats gotta take the back seat. Behold my totem, and inscribes my canine cards with the airborne sigil, which is kind of broken, let's be honest. He's completely insane. You see that, right? No care for the rules. Pathetic, really. Enough. Yep, he, he keeps you here to watch you suffer, but that's okay. Suffering's fun sometimes. I want to see if I can get the cat. We don't have a lot of... Oh. It's our first turn, that makes sense. So this thing won't hurt whatever it's up in front of. Neither will this. Um... We'll throw it on a stoat. And... Ring the bell. Six month Annie. Still no sub badge. Sag. Bro. The sub badge. Uh, I'm pretty sure I die if I don't use my little cards to spawn wolves. In fact, I don't even think I spawn wolves in front of them because the wolves do more damage. I could get a cat here. Get the guaranteed... But it could also not be a cat. And that would be bad. So I think I... I think I have to sacrifice my stoat. This is the power play. Because these do more damage than them. So... I'm guaranteed to live. You're two damage away from winning. I'm no longer two damage away from winning. So like we could pick up a card here, but we won't be able to play it, unfortunately. Uh, but picking up a squirrel is just as useless, so we'll pick up something. It's the cat, which is both good and bad. It's not really what we wanted here now. But uh, we're okay. Still no pants grab him. Oh, I'm so sorry, Sacred. I forgot. I'm sorry. I've been working. A lot. Like a ridiculous amount. <laughs> Impressive. You may yet survive this ordeal. Knock on wood. Now we only have the pliers, though. You pick a card. Uh, I don't know what the camp... Wait, what? You can look at your cards? And no clue. The flighty elk and moves after attacking. This thing's really strong, if you think about it. Two and four? That means it survives a wolf attack, one shots wolves with its two damage. So I think they have two health. So it, it essentially is just a better wolf. The watchful bullfrog. It leaps in the way of attacking flyers. This guy's really good for tanking things. The birds. And the proud wolf, a vicious contender. See, I want the elk. It's just too cool, bro. So this is the campfire thing and the sacrifice thing. Um. Yeah, yeah, you know what? That's totally it, Sacred. That's totally the reason. On the money. Bug. Bug. Hey, you typoed it again. You came across a small group of survivors. Faces shrunken from starvation, they huddled around a campfire. They looked upon your group of creatures and beckoned. Come, warm one of your creatures by the fire, one said. Warm it by the fire. That will enhance its power, said another. You notice that one of the survivors is uh, wiping drool from their mouth. Oh, hell yeah. Increase the power of... I don't want them to eat them. It says it adds one damage. Right there. See? But it says they're hungry. You can make the river snapper both tanky and deal damage. He'd just be like a a huge elk. 
He'd be able to eat two wolf attacks. Or not really. Just one, I guess. The second one would kill him. You can make the elk a big man. Dude, let's do the elk. Look at that big boy. The fire warmed the poor elk, enhancing its power. One of the survivors reached toward it. Another gnashed their teeth. Without a word, he pulled the elk away from the fire and left. Um, yeah. My elk lives to see another day. Bug. Big. So we got cat. That's huge. Cat's huge. Um, unfortunately, oh, but cat will be safe here because this thing will always attack directly. So. Cat. How much does he hit for? Four? Man's is a beast. Elk will die then. And the grand furs are stuck there. Oh, but they block. But they're stuck there. So they don't do anything for me. Okay. Well, we'll ring the bell. Yu-Gi-Oh, it's time. Heck, heck yeah. Oh. Hey, I forgot to block the bear. Um. <laughs> Using this as a learning opportunity may be the only way to mitigate my disappointment. Get up. Get up from the table. Okay. Fetch me the candlestick from atop the barrel beside the door. So... Oh. It's Wasta movement. So these are like the little things that you can solve. I know nothing about them. Because I didn't pay attention to the solutions. There's a wolf in a cage. But that's the thing I, I'm supposed to get, I'm assuming. What's this? Oh, actually, it's probably this. And then there's a clock. Yeah. It's funny because I know about all these things. I just don't remember how he did any of them because I was not paying attention. Okay, that, that's a good thing, I think. All right, let's grab the candlestick. Bring it here. Okay. Let's sit back down. Uh, let me explain something to you. <laughs> it looks like a skull. Or it did. For a half second. Uh... That was one of the two mistakes you can make here. If you make another, I must sacrifice you. Now, where were we? So, now we gotta, um... We can pick a card, and then get items, or pick a card, and then enhance a card. I wanna make a super powerful elk. That is my, my mission. A wolf with a mushroom. The ornery porcupine. Sharp quills await those who dare attack it. So he's got thorns, essentially. And the adder is the insta-kill. I like the special effects. Let's get the adder. The adder could be a good solution for like a... I don't know, bear or something. A group of starving, uh, starving survivors stood around a dying campfire. There's room for a creature around the fire, one said. The warmth will enhance its health, said another. One of the survivors said nothing at all, but could not stop licking their lips. Uh, so they want to eat my, my elk, who I'm totally going to enhance again. Can I? Oh, I can. I could just stack my elk. Uh, I could also make the river snapper take more damage, though. That'd be really good. 
That'd mean the river snapper could live through two wolf hits, not quite two grizzlies. Uh, I could also make the cat beefy, but I think I want to upgrade either a wolf here or an adder may not be bad, actually. Granted, they live, they can't instantly kill things, but they won't have enough health for a wolf bite. Hmm. I think we do the adder, though. Me thinks. Oh, the stoat's cute. The health of the adder was enhanced by the warmth. As one of the survivors began pulling a knife from their pocket, you withdrew. So, uh... The trees seem to close in around you as a chill mist descended. In the distance, you could hear the clinking of metal on stone. A hobbled figure stood in your path. Hee-ha! Twas the prospector! <laughs> the mule's key. Yeah, thanks for the, the help. So we're gonna kill this thing. And this thing has the same thing as uh, the one thing. Move in the description described inscribed in the sigil. So this will move that way, yada yada. So what we wanna do, does it have any attack? No? Next turn I get hit by, I could hold. I'm gonna do this, because I want to do something. But Coyote hits me, but that's okay. The pack mule can't move. So what we do, we grab another squirrel, we throw down, and then we add her, the pack mule. Oh heck yeah. Damn it! My mule! A serpent perhaps more deadly than man! Um. The game master's starting to look more and more like me. <laughs> Wait, what? Sacred? Please? Yeah, so now we got a ton of cards. Do we have a cat? By any chance? No, we do have another squirrel. Let's see if we can get the cat. <gasps> we got the cat! Alright, so we want the cat out of harm's way. But that won't happen. Oh. Well, I want the cat out of harm's way. We got the cat. We don't have to play the cat right now, necessarily. We can throw down something else. Such as the elk. Actually, let's do that. And then we can do the, the cat next turn. So the, the elk will then move and tank this. Yeah, look at that. Bro, sacrifice mule and put it on adder. Wait, mule? I don't have mule. Adder move fast to insta-kill board. Oh, the elk? Gotcha. Yeah, but then it have to tank the next turn, presumably. It had to be a beefy boy. If we stacked upgrades on it, though, that'd be pretty interesting. Um, I need a squirrel to get out of the cat. So I squirrel, and then I cat. And then from the cat, I porcupine. And then from the porcupine, I'm okay. I don't need the river snapper right now. I'm gonna put him here. No, I'm not. I could put the porcupine there. Yeah, he attacks, destroys it. I porcupine. Porcupine attack. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's the that's the strat. Did I neglect to mention? Oh. I mean, I guess this technically may not be the minor. Did I neglect to mention overkill damage? Excess damage is not wasted. It carries over to the card behind the mangled corpse of the victim. Lucky for you. 
Oh, shoot. My elk's popping off and dead at the same time. All right, so here's the strat. Here's the strat, okay? Hear me out. We grab a card. It's a wolf. So what we do is we sacrifice the cat. We put down the porcupine. We then sacrifice the cat and the porcupine to put down the wolf. And then sacrifice the cat to get the stowed out. And then... We just win. Thorny rebuke. Um, so then we, uh... We just... We're chilling, I guess. I want to put the wolf there, but I can't. The wolf cub's gonna kill my cat, and I can't do anything about it. Then again... I think we're okay. I think we just win, right? I hope you didn't think it would be that easy. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. That's right. That's right. We're screwed. There's gold in them cards. And, uh, yeah, we're boned. G g g gold! I've struck gold! Um... All right. Here's the plan. We can't sacrifice that. So we play two squirrels. Wolf it up. To kill the wolf cub. Get him! What does this thing do? Guardian. When an opposing creature is placed opposite to an empty space, a card bearing the sigil will move to that empty space. Oh, okay. My wolf's fine, then. Uh, but this guy's gonna hit me for two, but I'm gonna be hitting for three. So by that metric alone, I will eventually win. Uh, I don't remember where my last card is. I don't- I don't recall at all. Uh, but we'll need at least a squirrel to summon it, I'm sure, so... There's an adder. That's no bueno. Let's grab this. Oh, it's an elk. Is it the powerful elk? It is the powerful elk. Elk one-shots this guy. We need two sacrifices. So, we gotta live through this turn, which we will. You're right, Marissa. It was elk. Uh, squirrel. And then squirrel. And then... We're attacking, so we want to send in... Did I click red snapper? Wait, hold up. How do I go back? I meant to click on the elk. Whoop, this is fine. <laughs> I meant to click on the elk. We'll do... Oh, we won! It was fine! It was totally fine. All in the plants. Allow me to... Oh, sorry. Allow me to light your candles once more. I won't be killing you quite yet. Nice. You're the first in a while to overcome a boss. As a reward, you are graded... Or granted, sorry. An opportunity to select a rare card. So we get to pick... Um, nice cards. Cool cards, if you will. The... The... Uh... Good job, you played yourself. Never mind. Man's in the eighth dimension. <laughs> Honestly. The level of brutish strength needs uh this level of brutish strength needs no explanation. So uh a four blood cost, but tons of health and damage. Okay, yeah, okay. A largely unimpressive specimen, the strange larva. But it evolves into something in a turn. Um and Poor abandoned child. It does not die when sacrificed. But do you have the heart to try? So... I kind of remember what this card does, I think. It actually powers up when you sacrifice it. 
Um, but if you sacrifice it again, then it's then it's awful. I want the larva. Why not? With the sound of the prospector's pickaxe still ringing in your ears, you carry it onwards. I actually didn't expect that to go so smoothly. I thought I kind of squandered, but... The flying river snapper, I'm telling you. The rank smell of rot and mold permeated the humid air. Every step forward was answered by some nearby slip or slither. You tread cautiously into the wetlands. Interesting. Okay. Uh, so we've got only one choice for now, but I kind of want to figure out where I'm going next. I forget what this is. Is that a totem? I don't think we've done this yet. Uh, that's the campfire to increase power, which is really nice. I don't know what this does off the top of my head. But we could do two campfire route. Or we could do this, which puts something on something else. So we could merge, like Marissa said, the adder with the elk's power. Or we could really actually make a uh, power up for the for for a card that's not a power up. I think that sounds interesting to me. So I kind of want to try to do that. But I have no clue how that works, or if you can even do it. So there's another adder. Ah, uh, River Snapper, another one. The Stalwart Snapper, a near impenetrable defense. And a river, yo, he looks kind of crazy. And he's a water card. The Elusive Otter, it submerges itself during my turn. So these guys can't be hit, essentially, is how this works. Why not, let's get diversity. Yeah, the Otter. Yeah, I want to see if we can... Oh, but if we sacrifice this, we'll never get to play it. We're going to be really good, Marissa. A really good combination. If we put River Otter on the Adder and the Elk on the Adder, that'd be the perfect combination like you were talking about. He'd just keep moving and killing everything he touches, but he would never be touched himself. That'd be really good. We could actually put... River Otter on our Adder now, and it'd be really good. Maybe that's what we do. Oh, we can't put two of the same thing, or two different things on something, because we don't see the other card we enhanced, which was... Who did we enhance? Oh, the River Snapper, that's right. A, sum a submersive adder sounds really good though. It's just guaranteed damage. Now you can see what this is. Oh, it's a totem fight. There's a way out for both of us. It's somewhere in this foul cabin. Be silent or I will tear you to shreds. I keep clicking on these. Ooh, we got the strange larva. Uh, will these things kill me? No. They also will hit me directly regardless. What's that? Oh, they're waterborne. So they can't be hit, and they're flying. They can't be hit, and they ignore things. What's this? When opposing creatures placed opposite- Oh, this is the thing that the dog had. But they can't hit. So anything that's played against them is completely safe. Is what I'm reading. Oh, but that's what he's going to play. Okay, yeah. Let's see what happens. <clears throat> that's a strange pupa. <clears throat> Uh, we need to do damage, otherwise we die. So... The stoat must enter the battlefield. Mothman is 
fucking cracked. Uh, just for good measure, I think we put out the elk. How brutal of you. You dealt more damage than you needed to win. However, in my game, such feats are rewarded. To be precise, a tooth to keep for each extra damage dealt. The trapper may, may be interested in your spoils. Mothman! Yeah, no, that's pretty fucking cool. Seven damage is a lot. For situations like that, where we can protect them, that's huge. If we had that, um... What was it, Bullfrog? The one that would tank for people? That would be huge. More cards. Oh, it tanks from... I meant to right-click, not left-click. Whoops. It tanks from uh, aerial attacks, not not all attacks. Oh, sorry. Sorry about that. Uh, this is extra health. The warm light of a campfire is a welcome sight. Uh, through... Uh, oh, sorry. Though the ten hungry eyes around it dampen the greeting. Warm a creature by the fire. Enhance its health, said one. Um, yeah. Yeah. You are elk. You get strange larvae. But... If we did that... Does it go through all stages? Potentially not. <laughs> Stowe doesn't want to be picked. You're right. Uh, we can make the cat tanky so it won't die. The bullfrog tanky so it can tank more stuff. But I kind of want to sacrifice the bullfrog and put it on someone else. I don't know who, though. I'm going to put it on the larvae. I don't know if it'll go through all those stages or not. The survivors were right about the flames. They had enhanced the creature's health. Spotting a few of the survivors drooling, you made a hasty retreat with your strange larvae. Larva. Sorry. I wonder if uh, they eventually eat the, the the card that you put down. Seems like it's getting progressively worse. Yeah, what's up, Stout? Um, I don't want to do anything realistically. Uh, these guys are just pure damage. Stout will live against the coyote. And then I won't get too, too much damage. I think he said it's five to kill, so. Oh, that's huge. Uh, we gotta pass our turn though. We're on the verge of dying. You could play this. Or you could play this and then get out like the elk or something. Do a ton of damage, which will help us live. I think that's what you have to do. Uh, we actually want the elk here, because once they attack, they have to block one of these guys. Or that guy. I guess they all do one damage. The safest spot is right here. I think. So three damage is more than these guys will do next turn. means I live uh, and then while we're tanking damage we can place that down I think we'll grab another squirrel yet again we're, we're just we're just stalemating for now so it's okay And then this guy evolves to Mothman, and then we just hit the bell. Well, we can do extra overkill, right? Ooh, that's a lot of damage. So this is a trapper, I think. You were stopped along the way by a trapper. 
looking to liquidate his pelts. There was something uncanny about his appearance, but you were quickly distracted by his wares. Care to look at me pelts? Or... I don't know. Take a pelt free of charge. Uh, see the quality? So... How many teeth do we have? Do we have to count these? 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13. So if we take a 9, then we could take... Not that. But we could take two rabbit pelts. And then we can skedaddle. You're, you're leaving already? Please, consider me pelts. Thanks for your business. I don't know. I don't know how to do a trapper's voice. Mine are just insane. But, uh, man assured you of the value of the pelts. They appear to be useless in a fight. But he mentioned that the trader further down the path would be reward you for them. So I think... Ooh, enhance or... I like the enhance more than this. Uh, cause we don't have enough cards that I feel like we can get something unique going that's super, super good. We could add something to our elk. Um... Can't do the turtle. Uh, we could do... No, I think we want to enhance. I think that's what we go for here. Could be wrong. Who knows? Warm a creature by the fire. Enhance its power. Instead of Hungry Survivor. This is damage! So... If we do the Adder strategy... Our Adder is technically unkillable. I think. I don't know. Um, but if we add power to it... Then it's guaranteed to instantly kill whatever it's facing. And then also do extra damage to... The enemy whenever it's... It's turn. If there's no enemy there for it to hit. So... I think we do Adder. I also didn't pay attention to the larva and see if it's HP transferred to the cocoon or not. We could do Elk again. Let's do Adder. Why not? Powerful snack. The fire warmed the, the weary Adder. And enhanced its power. Weary, sorry, not wary. You suspected the intentions of the survivors were less than pure. With your adder in tow, you returned to the woods. Um, and now we do another fight, I guess. I don't know what that next thing is. I'm guessing maybe the traitor? So one problem with pelts is now we can draw them. The advantage of pelts is they cost nothing and they can be used to tank. Um, but I have no clue what happens to them if you play them and they get destroyed, so... Kind of reluctant to do that. Uh, so you got a coyote and two kingfishers, which we can't hit. I think we stoat. Stoat lives, then hits the coyote. I think that's what we do. There's a book here? Wait, I want to read the book. Was it the thing telling me about Mighty Leap? Oh, it's just telling me about my, my cards. So you can block a flying thing. But he doesn't have thorn. Ooh, we could put a porcupine on him. And then he'd be really good for blocking kingfishers. Now, this one can be hit, but it's not unkillable. So, if we spawn the bullfrog, we're going to live. I think that's the strat. Could be wrong. Yeah, bullfrog kills sparrow. Ooh, that's not good. Oh, Bullfrog doesn't kill Sparrow. Ooh, are we dead? Oh, we lived. 
No matter what we do, we're screwed. Oh my goodness. We're done. I could use this thing, I guess. How disappointing. Tragic. Wait, what happens if I do this? Oh, I can walk around. Okay. Um, only one place to go, I guess. You encountered a small outpost in the woods, tended by a mysterious woman. It was the traitor that the old trapper had mentioned. This is where we go to the pelts, which is huge. Uh, her appearance was unsettling, but you were mollified by her offerings. I don't know what voice to do for her, so I'm just going to keep reading. Do you mind if I examine those pelts of yours? Let's start with your hair pelts. Here's what I can offer. I can trade you any of these. Take your time. This guy's worth a lot of sacrifice stuff. This makes an elk. There's the beehive. We can't read their effects here, though. This egg looks interesting. Uh, I like the growth cards. I really do. And I'd like to sacrifice one. So I'm going to take... Oh, we can look. What's this do? What's a card bearing the sigil of struck? So bees are huge. Uh, let's take a raven egg. And... An elk fawn and a goat. Yeah. So now we can get Gek. Why is Gek supposed to be so good? I like the little dragon in the background. What's cool about Gek? He's got no effects, but he costs nothing. And he's a gecko. There's the pack rat. This guy's huge because he gives you items. Um, now we could use this now that we have the black goat. If we put it on the cat, it'll be really good for getting out this guy. Or really any card. Um, Child 13 is also infinitely sacrificable and gets a power up when you sacrifice them. So that's pretty good. I kind of want to get Gek just because he looks like a crackhead. I'm going to get Gek. It seems like the least useful of the bunch. But hey, these pelts are most excellent. My thanks. This is what we want to do. We could power up something, but we can upgrade the cat. So now we, uh, we pick the cat. Or not the cat, the goat. Or we could... I could put growth on something. Can I back out of this? I can. Okay, I can, okay. Just making sure. Would this put both on something? I gotta do the cat, though. I gotta do the cat. Goat. On to... Cat. That's huge. A foul smell invaded your nostrils and caused your throat to seize. A hulking man sat by a brackish pond with his feet submerged in the dark water. He pulled a hook from a pile of rotting fish and rose to his feet. It's the fisherman. I am the angler. Go fish <clears throat> oh we got our instant death adder uh, I'm gonna play nothing if I remember how this guy works we're in for a fucking treat unless we get the cat
we can not kill that because it's Kingfisher. But we gotta do damage or we lose. Fresher fish. Or wait, what was my voice for him? I don't remember. Anyways. Stoat! Yeah, yeah, that's what he does. He, uh... Here, Stoat. You can be a sacrifice. Goodbye, goodbye, Stoat. I think. Oh. Oh yeah, he takes it. Oh, that was dumb. Well, now we need a cat and another card. Right, that's pretty good, but we're kind of screwed. I uh, I think we lose here. It's fine. It's fine. It's fine. It's all right. Ha. Huh. Go fish. You aren't dead yet? This isn't purgatory. Though, you may think of it that way. Before you expire, I must ask you a favor. I would like a memento. Your very own death card. It's quite plain at the moment, isn't it? We will work together to amend that. I want this to be the perfect memento of you. Here are some cards from your mediocre deck. We can put them to good use. Please, choose a card to draw the cost from. We want low cost. Luckily, these are all one cost. I kind of want to save the effects of this one, if I can get them. So I'm going to pick this guy for the cost. The cost of one blood from the bullfrog. And another. This time we'll use its power and health. The numbers. Um... Really, it's just 2 damage, 3 health, or 3 damage, 2 health. I'll pick the wolf. 3 power, and 2 health from the wolf. Now, choose a card from which we will extract the sigils. Oh, the cat! The cat! A sigil of many lives, and a sigil of worthy sacrifice from the cat. <laughs> Yo! <laughs> Yo! <laughs> Reuben. There's now but one final matter. The portrait. Nice. Are you ready? You do not need to smile. That is bright. 